Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the One Size Lip Snatcher Hydrating Liquid Lipstick and Lip Gloss Duo. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I'll do my best to reply back. I want to give a shout out to my subscriber, Nikki, for requesting this review. If you want me to review any products on my channel, leave a comment down below. Each lip duo retails for $28 on Sephora's website and one size online and comes in eight shades. I do want to read a little bit about this lip duo on Sephora's website. A dual ended lipstick and lip gloss that provides versatility in the look and feel of your lips and addresses texture to help smooth, soften, and hydrate. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says one size in the center. Underneath that, it says Lip Snatcher Velvet Flex Cream and Cushion Gloss Lip Duo. You get seven milliliters of product or 0.24 fluid ounces. Up at the top, you have the shade name printed. This shade is called Be About It. On this side of the packaging, you have the list of ingredients. On the other side, it states it in a different language. On the back, it states it was made in Italy. There's some directions on how to use it, and it states it has a 12-month shelf life. Down at the bottom, there's nothing printed. Here's what the tube looks like. It says one size in the center. You have the liquid lipstick on one side and the lip gloss on the other side. Here's what the back looks like. On the bottom, it says Velvet Flex Cream, and then on the other side, it says Cushion Gloss. There's nothing printed down at the bottom. On the other side, it says Lip Snatcher. Underneath that, you have the shade name. Again, it states it was made in Italy, and it has a 12-month shelf life. Let's see what the gloss looks like. The applicator is double-sided. The gloss is described as a pearlescent pink. That's so pretty. Let's see what the gloss looks like applied on the lips. Ooh, I love the scent. It smells like cupcakes and vanilla. It smells really yummy. Here's what the lip gloss looks like. I love how shiny it looks on the lips. I'm going to press my lips together to see if there's any stickiness. It doesn't feel sticky at all. Now let's see what the liquid lipstick looks like. The applicator is different. This is a doe foot applicator. The liquid lip is described as a matte, warm nude. The liquid lipstick might be a little bit too light for my skin tone, but let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Here's what the liquid lipstick looks like. It applied a bit streaky on my lips. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm gonna press my lips together. It doesn't feel like I have any product on my lips, but you can see all of the fine lines on my lips. It looks very drying. Let's see what the gloss looks like applied on top. Here's what the lip combo looks like. I don't like this lip combo. The second shade is called Mother Star. Let's see what the gloss looks like. The gloss in Mother Star is described as a pearlescent. Again, very pretty. Let's see what the gloss looks like. Here's what the gloss shade in Mother Star looks like. Again, I love the high shine finish. Let's see what the liquid lip looks like. Other star is described as a matte terracotta. That shade is beautiful. Here's what the liquid lip in Mother Star looks like. This shade is gorgeous. Let's do a kiss test on the back of my hand to see if we get any transfer. Oh wow. There's no transfer on the back of my hand. Here's what my lips look like after the kiss test. Amazing. Let's apply the gloss. Here's what that lip combo looks like. This lip combo is stunning. The third shade is called Trade Finder. Let's see what the gloss looks like. The gloss in Trade Finder is described as a shimmering rose. 
That's gorgeous. Here's what the gloss shade in Trade Finder looks like. I love the sparkling reflect. Let's see what the liquid lip looks like. The liquid lip in Trade Finder is described as a matte warm tan. This shade might be a little bit too light for me, but let's see what it looks like. Here's what the liquid lip in Trade Finder looks like. I had the same issue with this shade. It applied very streaky on my lips. Let's apply the gloss. Here's what the lip combo in Trade Finder looks like. I don't like this lip combo. The liquid lip is way too light on me. The next shade is called Joella Puss. Joella Puss Gloss is described as a pearlescent. Let's see what the gloss shade looks like. Here's what the gloss shade in Joella Puss looks like. Again, I like the high shine finish. Let's see what the liquid lip looks like. The liquid lip in Joella Puss is described as a matte medium pink. This shade seems a little bit too bright for my liking. Here's what the liquid lip in Joella Puss looks like. Again, I had a hard time getting an even application. It applied very streaky on the lips. Let's see what it looks like with the gloss on top. Here's what the lip combo in Joella Puss looks like. I don't like how this color looks on me. The next shade is called No Speed Limit. The gloss in No Speed Limit is described as a shimmering. Here's what the gloss shade in No Speed Limit looks like. This shade is actually very pretty. The liquid lip in No Speed Limit is described as a matte hot coral. Wow, that's bright. Here's what the liquid lip in No Speed Limit looks like. I have no idea why they describe this shade as a coral. It's not, it's definitely a red. Let's apply the gloss. Here's what the lip combo in No Speed Limit looks like. It's pretty. The next shade is called One Size Red. The gloss in One Size Red is described as a pearlescent. The liquid lip is described as a matte true red. Let's see what the gloss looks like. Here's what the gloss shade in One Size Red looks like. It's very pigmented. Let's see what the liquid lip looks like. Here's what the liquid lip in One Size Red looks like. color isn't as pigmented, you can see my natural lip peeking through. Let's pair it with the gloss. Here's what that lip combo looks like. I don't like how red looks on me. Let's see what the next shade looks like. The second to last shade in this collection is called Open Wide. The gloss in Open Wide is described as a shimmering. The liquid lip in Open Wide is described as a matte berry. Let's see what the gloss looks like. Here's what the gloss shade in Open Wide looks like. Again, I love how the shimmer looks on my lips.
Here's what the liquid lip in open wide looks like. I didn't have any issues when applying this shade on my lips. It wasn't streaky, it wasn't patchy. It applied evenly on the lips. This shade is gorgeous. Let's see what it looks like paired with the gloss. Here's what that lip combo looks like. I love this lip combo. It's stunning. The last shade in this collection is called Nightwalker. Nightwalker Gloss is described as a shimmering. That's so pretty. Nightwalker Liquid Lip is described as a matte rich brown. Again, stunning. Here's what the gloss shade in Nightwalker looks like. It's similar to the previous shade in Open Wide. Let's see what the liquid lip looks like. Here's what the liquid lip in Nightwalker looks like. This shade applied a little bit uneven on my lips, but I was able to get an even application. Let's see what it looks like with the gloss. Here's what that lip combo looks like. Again, so pretty. I will be wearing this shade in Nightwalker throughout my entire day, and I will leave below in the description box how it wears. Here's what all of the colors look like. My two favorite shades in this collection was the shade in Mother Star and Open Wide. I love the liquid lip in Mother Star. This terracotta shade is gorgeous. The formula is one swipe pigmented. I didn't have any issues with its streaking and I like the pearlescent gloss. As you all know, I love berries. One size did it right with this shade. This matte berry is stunning on my lip. Plus, I love the shimmering gloss. These six shades, on the other hand, weren't my favorite. The liquid lip was extremely patchy, very streaky on my lips, and I had a hard time getting an even application. The glosses on the other end, I liked, but I wish they weren't dual-ended. I wish they sold the glosses separately. $28 is expensive for this lip product. That means each side, the gloss and the liquid lip, is $14. If you love Patrick Star and want to support his brand, then go for it. Let me know in the comments down below if you tried this lip product from one size. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.